Good evening, my name is Modi Apparatus, and welcome to Terraria 1.3.3.2, I think we're at. Um, this is uh, going to be a mage playthrough of uh, Terraria here, and we're going to be trying to experience the new 1.3 content, 1.3.3 content, I should say, uh, which focuses on the desert. And so uh, I guess what we should do is talk a little bit about our character here. Uh, this character here is, uh, since we're focusing on the desert, and there's a lot of desert content added in this update. Uh, he is actually the son of uh, Anubis, the Egyptian god of the underworld. And uh, he apparently did not live up to his father's expectations, so he's been cast out from the underworld, and now he's trying to survive in this new realm here. He doesn't really have any magical ability by nature, uh, there are no godlike powers or anything like that, but he knows that there's magical items within this world that he can take advantage of to maybe eventually live up to his father's expectations, become the rightful ruler of the underworld, prove himself that he's worthy of being uh, a god like his father, Anubis. And so we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be doing a mage playthrough, so collecting those magical weapons that Anthony here, I didn't, didn't know if I said his name yet, his name is Anthony, son of Anubis. Uh, Anthony here is gonna be trying to collect those magical weapons that will give him the power that he needs to become a god. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get through a lot of the game here. I don't know how deep we'll get into the game, but I definitely want to get to hard mode, at least see the new, uh, get all the new desert items for sure. Um, at least the magical ones. We don't know if we'll use the other ones. I think there's a gun um, that wouldn't really apply here. There's a sword that's been added to. That's actually pre-hard mode too. But um, yeah, so there's some, a lot of cool stuff we can get and a lot of cool stuff we can try. Plus, it's a mage playthrough, which I've never really done a whole lot deep. I mean, late, late game in my previous co-op playthrough, we got, we did a lot of mage weapons, but uh, yeah, this will be more of a focus on mage only rather than just using whatever the most powerful at the moment. Uh, so it should be pretty interesting, and I'm going to try the added challenge of not really doing any melee damage. So you notice me avoid, avoiding the slimes for now. Did we actually get anything? Okay, let's get our buddy over here, Mr. Guide, and catch his name. What's, what's your name, buddy? Oh, I didn't catch your name. Hold on a second. I need your help for a second. Come back, come back, come back. Uh, what we're gonna do is try to get him to kill one of these slimes for us, so we don't have to actually take the melee damage out. Uh, it's a Maxwell. Hello, sir. Welcome. Um, so, yeah, make sure, uh, if you're excited to see Terraria, if you're a subscriber that's been asking for it, I know a couple of you guys have been, make sure you're, uh, giving your thoughts in the comments and, uh, leaving likes and that kind of thing to support the series lets me know that you're interested in, throughout the series, you know, lets me know that you're still interested in the series after we get, you know, a few episodes under our belt here, um, and you're, that you're still out there watching. This is also an expert mode, I should say, too, so we have... These guys are pretty deadly, even in uh, even at the beginning here, these these little slimes, so... I'm just gonna have uh, Max will kill a couple of these guys. Come on, Max. Get him. Get him, Max. Get him. Get him. Get him, Max. Oh, come on, Max. Come on, Max. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, there you go. Now you got a point blank. You can get him just fine. I apologize for this, by the way. If you die, I'm gonna be very upset. It's not my intention, buddy. It's not my intention, just so you know. All right, so let's get to exploring here. We got 237 wood already, or 231 wood, no, seven wood. Um, let's see if we can find out where the deserts are. Oh, that's our buddy dying here. Uh, hopefully he killed him. I'm just gonna assume he did and keep running away. Um, no, it sounds like he's still dying. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna try to get uh, some magical weapons from the outset here. What we need, before we can even do any damage and get underground here, hopefully we can find a wand of sparking in a chest here. That would be ultimate. If we can find a nice cave system that possibly we can traverse without doing uh, too much harm to ourselves, we'll try that too. Um, but that would be great. We need to get... Uh, there's a few ways we can do this, but I think the, I mean, the, the easiest weapon to get right now is the wand of sparking. The problem is it's not very high damage, but it'll at least let us fare okay against these slimes. We can do our own slime killing in the future here. And, uh, yeah, so let's go, let's go to explore and see if we can find any cave systems. There might have been one there. Ooh, this looks like a good one here. Uh, that'll definitely have some chests in it. Um, I'm gonna stick to, looks like we're hitting the desert right now here, actually. I'm gonna say we should stick to the surface for a minute, but, um, yeah, we're running to the desert. Ooh, first chest, okay, here we go. Uh, what's it gonna be? One, two, three, go! Umbrella. Okay, well, that's not bad. Um, it's not great. But it's something we might use for now until we get something that can really help us with our falling. Shurikens, I'm gonna hang on to. We're not gonna use them, but I'm gonna actually take this weapon off of our hotbar too. I'm gonna take that off so we don't accidentally use any um 
any melee damage there. We might accidentally hit some guys with our, an errant click or two, but the the, mo the main goal is to not uh, do any any melee damage. A um, little bit of iron bars, more torches is good, and some recall. Okay, cool. Let's break all these down. Look at some more torches, so we don't have to kill so many slimes. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's just take a quick little look over here. Oh, it looks like you know nothing over there. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take this chest with us also so we don't accidentally keep trying to raid it over and over again. Looks like we're hitting the desert over here. And if we can get into the desert just a little bit here, we might be able to see how deep this goes. Um, I wanna get uh, some platforms here just in case we run into a thing we need to cross. I'll keep those on the, on the ready. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is a really good find actually. We might have some good stuff in here. Um, Awesome, that's that's great. And actually, we can find a chest in here. Probably won't have too much good stuff in it, but uh, it'll at least give us some more pots to break open here. And we have, I mean, this is our home. I did say we we're gonna settle in the desert. Uh, if it's a pyramid, of course we should settle here, right? Yeah, obviously, if we're gonna be uh, an Egyptian god. Angry flying carpet allows the wearer to float for a few seconds. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Yes! Oh, our first, uh, oh, that's so good. Okay, that's gonna help us get around a little bit. Um, so we just hold on space. We can fly around. How long does this go? It does go pretty, pretty long, actually. Oh, this is gonna be great, actually. We're gonna settle in this place. This will be our new home, eventually. I don't think there'll be any more chests down in here, but you never know. Uh, should be reasonably safe for now. Now, once we hit hard mode, this area is going to get a lot more dangerous. Oh, we're out of torches already. Oh, that's not good. Um, just want to see how deep this goes. Oh, wow, we're going underwater now, too. All right, so that's the end of it. Let's, just, let's mine through here, and now we're underground already. Let's drain this water out, first of all. Get that out of here. All right, so uh, we need more torches. Um, we don't really have a means for getting more at the moment. Oh, wait, there we go. Why wasn't it doing it for me? Oh, it switched to this for some reason. There we go. We have 47 still. We don't need more torches. I don't know why it wasn't working for me for a second there. All right. Well, we're underground here too. Let's uh, let's see how bad the surface is going to be for the moment. Because we're not going to find a lot of sparking down here. But we might find is enough uh, materials and enough enough uh, gemstones to make a wand actually. And that's the real goal. That's where we can actually do some decent damage finally. Let's just take a quick little glance through here and see if we see any 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 ore to process here. Now we have tin. Oh, here's some amethyst. All right. So we got two, we need a bunch of this. I'm pretty sure we need at least like 15 probably. So it ain't gonna be easy. Um, yeah, that's kind of nice. I never actually had this this uh, this item before. That's great actually, I kind of like it. Um, getting new stuff already. Oh, I can't get up there though, I really wish I'm kind of interested to see how this will work with a double jump, though. Um, that's going to really give us some options, then. Uh, we can double jump up. So that's good. Double jump up and then glide around on, like, magic carpet. It lasts a lot longer than I thought it would, too, which is great. And it's going to help us cross all kinds of chasms. Oh, geez, sand falling on the head. Not the, not the first time Not the first time it's going to happen, not the last time it's going to happen, for sure. Um... Looks like we have, oh, we have granite, but there might be a chest in there. Usually there's a granite house when we see these things, so let's just be aware of the enemies that are going to, oh, it's solid. It's solid. There's no, there's no way in there. What we will get, though, is enemies, and that's not good. Um, let's see about here. Okay, a little bit of more tin, it looks like. I will grab it just in case. Oh, this is iron. Yeah, we'll probably grab that. That's even better, more useful. And if there's any, uh... Granite enemies coming out of here. We're gonna be in trouble though. Okay, let's get back out um, This is already proven to be useful. Let's get back up and we'll try a different means Which hopefully it's still daytime. I'll top there. Oh, it's getting to be dark. I think oh, maybe not There's no But yeah, we'll we'll use this I think we'll definitely use this as a, a base of operations Okay, let's see if we can get across here Okay, we got that guy who's gonna kill us immediately. We might be able to fly past him for quick. Very, very quick, very, very quick. Okay, so we need, oh, this, unfortunately this desert sucks. Oh man, well that's not a great desert to settle in. It has the pyramid though. Um, that is not great. 
Uh, I don't like when deserts are right up against snow biomes. But that's all right. We can explore the snow biome here a little bit. It is almost dark. We're going to have enemies coming soon. We got to get underground here very, very shortly. Okay, here we go. Here's an opportunity to get underground again. Let's uh, let's take this opportunity now to get head uh, in the ground. Um, stop this slime from chasing us, hopefully. Done. And we got some pots already. All right. Let's get deep. Hopefully this is deep. Um, yeah, it's so far it's so good. A little bit of rope. Love it. I love, love this magic carpet. So good. Uh, yeah, so let's see what we can see here. Um, for enemy situations like this, let's try to get in here and stop him from coming down. We'll just do that for now. Oh, we can get underneath though. Okay, there he's, now he's stuck. Um, yeah, we'll just be careful. We need to find, I don't think we're finding much gemstones. Let's get deeper here though. Mining potion's awesome. Yeah, I might consider using that right away here. Oh, our first uh, zombie. Okay, let's see if we can lock him in. Nope, oh, that put him over the top. Um, okay, let's do this. Nope, oh, let's go over the top too. Okay, we can, we can, we can, we can do this. Oh, over the top. Okay. Uh, no. Okay, we got it. We got a chance over here. Okay, we got, we got. As long as we get him, so we can't jump up. Okay, we're good. And right, we got to take some of this back down again. Not the cleanest uh, wall I've ever made in my life. Let's just clean this up for a minute and I'll figure out how to deal with these guys. Welcome to my zombie menagerie. I hope you like Eskimo zombies. I've got plenty of them to display. Um, okay, so we're safe for the moment, unless something else comes after these guys here. Uh, we'll just keep them in there and hopefully nothing else is coming down the road. Um, takes a little time but you can get it without killing yourself and uh that's what we're all about here try not to die that's the other thing too we're trying not to die too often as well no frivolous deaths there will be deaths so don't don't mark my words i'm just trying not to die right away here um episode one maybe no deaths that'll be the first episode well we'll have one at some point here i'm sure we got slimes now to deal with a little bit better than the zombies we just fought, but we'll fought. Oh, here's another zombie though, too. Let's think about how I want to deal with this now. Um, I'm gonna think about going this way and just putting up a wall behind us once he's going down that way, maybe. I get him moving that direction if possible. Once he gives up, they always jump for a minute and then they give up. He'll give up. He's gonna get tired any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. Okay. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We did it. We're through it. We're through. We made it. Okay. We're alive. Um, for how long? I don't know. We need a potion. Um. A lot of these little, uh, altars over here. Another room. Nothing there. And nothing over here, really. Well, if we're careful, we can get down in there, though. Uh, just gotta be careful that doesn't, uh, that guy doesn't come and get us. He will kill us immediately. Let's do this. I'll get a torch up in here if we can, so we can see a little better. Huh? Um, here he comes. Let's get out of here. Oh, here comes a friend. Let's get the wall up. There we go. All right, it's got to recover our tracks a little bit. Uh, let's head down this direction. Let's see how far this goes. See if there's anything worthwhile down that way. No, not so far. Okay, he's coming back over this way now. We got two friends over here. I don't think there's really a way we can box this guy in. And there's also a chance he's just gonna murder me now. Let's try to hit this if we can. Not quite. Okay. I get this angle just right. Nope, not quite. Alright, now he's up there. Actually, we might be able to box him in up here. Oh, there you go. Hey, beach himself. Fantastic. All right, now we have to get over here quick. 
before our air runs out and hopefully no other ones show up here. Let's get over here. Luckily our magic carpet works underwater here still. All right, let's get over this way. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, nice. And they got light. Okay, let's uh, another brush air, breath of fresh air here and see what we got over this way. Uh, looks like another iron deposit. Let's grab that and get into this hole here if we can without dying of asphyxiation. All right, let's go mine out this iron and stuff here. This looks like silver actually. Um, right now the gemstones are oh platinum. Oh, we're in a platinum world. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, the kinds of ores we can get will determine uh, what kind of staves we can make, actually. Um, so we need to get... Uh, I believe platinum is diamond. Diamond staff. I might be wrong about that, but I believe it's diamond staff. And the ruby staff would be gold. We can get everything. I mean, we could always fish for crates or we can uh, use the uh, extractinator if we find one. But good to have platinum on hand. Platinum's awesome. Okay, so let's get this down there. See if there's any holes we might be able to take advantage of. Looks like there might be a way to dig down here. We're careful enough. All right, looks like we may have found another system here. Small one, big one, what's going to be? Yeah, it's a pretty small one, actually. All right, so pretty much this is a bust now. What I'm going to do is I'm work my way back out of here carefully and get out to the surface and see if... I believe day should be up again now. Um, so we can go explore to the east then and see if we see that direction. So uh, actually what I'll do is I'll do a recall potion. I worry about bypassing all this stuff. And uh, yeah, we're midday already. So let's get back over to uh, the other side now and see what's over here. Let's take a couple of these with us so we can lay them down, get a nice little network of sunflowers going. So we get a little speed boost, a um, little bit of a uh, reduced monster spawn. It's going to be very, very helpful right now, especially when we're at lack of weapons and uh, armor and all that. We do have 32, 20, 10 ore, not enough to really do much with. But we got some free ore here at least. So that's great. Okay, let's get over here. Let's bypass all these guys for now. How we done in wood? We probably need to gather some of these big trees, maybe. One or two of them. Um, we'll just do one for now. Get ourselves back up to 100 wood. I used a lot making all those uh, defensive platforms down there. Alright, so we got a little cave system. No chest here, which is unfortunate. Could use a chest. I do think that the mobility of the flying carpet though is going to help us a lot here. And it looks like we got more sand coming over here. Some more desert, which is good. Maybe we want to settle in this desert instead. Uh, it doesn't have the pyramid probably, because only one pyramid can spawn, I think, per world. And some usually zero spawn. I've, and I've rare, it's rare that I'll see a pyramid in this game at all. Um, shine potion's awesome. What we got going on down here? Nothing of consequence. Maybe we can get far enough to see what's here. Okay, that's good. Um, we're past this at least. Hey, we might get through this desert right away. Magic carpet is hugely uh, successful. All right, hopefully get a chest here soon. All right, nothing here. Just a slime to worry about in a second. We'll deal with that in a second here. Um, Alright, let's go over the top, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to do almost an entire episode with no weapon. Um, that's kind of an interesting start to this whole thing here. Uh, but sometimes that's how it goes with Terraria. Oh, here we go. This will have you have a wand that's barking in it. For sure, right? Yeah, probably. There's usually one in here. Maybe. We'll get lucky. Or maybe we'll get terribly unlucky and there won't be anything in here. Oh my god. We are getting so unlucky with chests. Here we go. And we got a uh, jagged radar. 
Okay, extra damage. We'll take it for now. Let's see, we can get further in here. Let's take advantage of that quick here. Actually, no, let's keep going on the surface. There might be something else we can see um, before. We don't want to waste our daytime. We're not, we might not get another daytime this episode, so we want to get out there as fast as possible and see everything we can see. Let's get back up to the surface. All right, I'm going to keep exploring the surface here. Maybe we can get lucky and uh, find something. Okay, we found our, found our corruption. I knew that was coming. Let's take a look and see. Maybe we can get lucky. We haven't found any bombs yet, have we? No, we haven't. I was going to say, maybe we can get lucky with an orb and bypass everything and get rid of a vile thorn, but... Um, this is probably a mistake. We're going to end up with uh, an enemy. Oh, we got our... Oh, it's annoying wand of sparking. Great. Uh, the weapon that already does almost no damage is going to do even less damage. Well, at least it's something we can attack with. Uh, let's take this off the hot bar for now. Oh, it's going to do almost zero damage to even slimes will be an issue with this still. So at least it's something to defend ourselves with that we can we can we can get to a point where we can oh 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 okay run 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 um no ah all right first death first death I mean I was I knew it was coming there might be something really good in that chest though all right we got to come back here. This is a dangerous spot because we're gonna have these enemies spawning all the time, but uh, I think that knowing of that existence of that chest, that we got to come back for it. So let's go check it out. All right, we're carefully heading back down where we died before. Uh, we have a, another situation here though with uh, a guy coming for us. I think he's hung up on there for now. We might be able to get a little closer before he becomes an issue. Let's do this instead then. this keep him low keep him low keep him low you can bring him over to here that'd be great come on over buddy get you wedged in there maybe what we can do we have a little bit of sand we might be able to wall him off here uh, let's try this we can wall him off and get that chest at least and then we can at least get maybe something better than we have. <laughs> Please be something better than we have. Oh, we already got this one. Okay, well that, that takes care of that guy. Um, and let's get this one over here then. This is the one we really want. Okay, we got climbing claws. Cool armor climbing claws. Actually, that's pretty good. Uh, anything else we can get really quickly without going to that danger area there? Not really. Uh, let's get down here. And get our money back. Get this iron. And maybe just get a little deeper here and see what we can see. I don't like this area for the very reason that we just experienced, though. A little, uh... Eaters of souls and stuff are, are gonna be... Pestering us constantly over here. Yeah, as far as a place to dig, I don't like this that much. I think we're better off going back to the one of the ones we found on our way over here and digging into there. Um, but I think that's going to have to do it for this very first episode. I guarantee more progress will be made next episode. We'll get a bunch of magical weapons, I'm thinking. Um, do mostly focus on mining and uh, exploring the, the underground. And uh, and this is going to kill me. Whatever this is, is going to kill me. It's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. Let's get out of here. All right. That's going to do for this episode, guys. I'm going to find a nice hole to hide in for the night, and I'll uh, be back next time for another episode. Make sure to leave those likes if you're uh, enjoying the series. Glad to see Terraria back on the channel. If you're new to the channel, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'm welcome welcome to you, and hope you, hopefully whatever brought you here continues to entertain you, and we'll uh, see you next time for more Terraria. Have a good night. <laughs>